show you right now is how to get clay. Either you could use, um, when you take from here, it's free clay, so you could make your own clay. But I have some recycled clay right here. It's just a little sticky, it's sticking to my hands. And you're gonna do the same concept. This stuff is really sticky here, so you would do the same sort of thing. But what I've done is I've crushed some of this dry uh, clay from the buckets. When you guys put dry stuff in there, hopefully it gets even a little bit drier. I take the rolling pin and you just crush it. So when you roll over the top of it, it becomes a nice fine dust and you wanna get all those little crumbs crushed into dust. If you have any extra, uh, you could put it in this bowl right here and someone else could use it. But as it's, it's crushed out, then um, I can use it a lot like flour added to bread dough and it takes the wetness out of it. So I'm just sort of going to wedge this and put some of this dust into it. So while I'm talking about that, I may as well talk about wedging. One of the things that the throwers need to do is wedge really well and it wakes up the clay show you this little um, method called the ramp's head method. Keep your hands on the side. You're going to push right here down. So I lift up, I push down, I lift up, I push down. Not too big a push. It's a really small push. This is how I kind of quit my first year because I kept adding it, I'd make it too, um, too flat. Okay, so hands on the side, lift, little push. Keep hands on the side. You wanna sort of have like a, the feel of the roll in your hand. And it's still kind of wet right now, so I just put some more of that clay dust into it, trying to get it to the right feel. Doing that ram head method so the snout comes out and it twirls a little bit in my hands. And you can see that ram head if you put eyes right there to get that ram head method. So I'm just going to add a little bit more dust. This will also help you get rid of areas that are a little bit wet. You can crush some dust and put it in there. Um, so again, this, this video is showing you two things. One, how to get wet clay a little bit drier. Two, how to do the ram's head. And that's kind of it. This is a lot of clay. I'd probably cut it in half if I was going to throw it.